Hello everyone. Welcome to Silver Shell's Bling Party. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful Sunday it is. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And we'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us. We have, uh, oh, Greg's already joined us. Hi, Greg. Hello, How Greg. are you? Um, let me see. Let me get this shared on my page. I'm interacting as myself. Where are we going live? So, live, live. Wait, I'm on. There we go. All right. I can't find us right now. Anyway, uh, I'm Silver Shells. This is Silver Shells Bling Party. And we are coming to you live from the heart of Sonoma County. Look for the red light in the left-hand corner. And if it's on, we are live. We have a wonderful show today for you. Uh, we have some in-show specials. We're going to show you jewelry. We're going to talk about past, present, and future guests. We have some strange, uh, we have some facts about jewelry, interesting facts. And our guest today is Stanley Carlisle, and he is a singer-songwriter. He's bringing his seven-string Washburn guitar with him today. So we look forward to interviewing Stanley at 1.30 today, so make sure you stick around. We also have events for this weekend and next week, so you have places to show your jewelry. Wear your jewelry. Get compliments. Right, right. right. So um, Cindy and I are two women from the heart of Sonoma County, and we like our jewelry. And we get compliments on it. We feel bold. Uh, it makes us feel confident. And people wear jewelry for many reasons. And so there's birthdays, you know, sentimental reasons. You wear it to match your clothes, match your eyes, you know, whatever the reason you, you have to wear jewelry. Uh, we have plenty. We have jewelry for any price, any occasion, almost. I think we can probably find something for Valentine's Day. We have red jewelry. My jewelry today matches my eyes. I'm wearing an Australian blue opal doublet set in sterling silver. X, it's absolutely stunning. You can see the play of color in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing our seashell, seahorse. It's a, it's, a, it's a darling little seahorse. And it's got honey onyx. And uh, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. If you like to see this closer, you can let me know. Uh, we have all of our jewelry back here. And so if you want to see any of the jewelry, you just let me know. I'll be showing some of it and demonstrating our games. So Cindy and I, we have an online store at www.silvershells.live. And we... Uh, Sorry. That's okay. We like music. Music. I don't know why that went up. That's a, well, Siri probably overheard us Sorry, talking. Sorry, technical difficulties. You know how Siri is. She probably did it, or he okay. did it on perfect. Hi, so Nancy. Nice. I love our jewelry, too. Oh, my gosh. So we have, we have the seahorse. Uh, we have tons. So go to our shop, www.silvershells.live. We have a lot of jewelry. Okay, so we have it arranged by tiers. Now, tiers is price. So a tier one is $15. Tier two is $25. Tier three, $35. Tier four, $50. Tier five, $75. Tier six, $100. And tier seven, $125 and up. So you can purchase jewelry by tier, or you can look for earrings, necklaces, pendants and bracelets so we have our jewelry broken down into categories also by what it is we have pearls sterling silver we have tagua tagua we have, tagua. We have lab grown opals mystic topaz mystic rainbow topaz that's correct lapis lazuli black pearls oh my gosh we have uh, agate, 
We have some black agate. We have honey. We have Swarovski crystals. We have resin jewelry. Oh my gosh, we have abalone, labradorite. Uh, we have some aventurine and we'll be showing you some of these later. So go on over to our show, check it out. And the fun thing about Silver Shells Bling Party is we have bling bags. Bling bags? What's a bling bag? Funny you should ask. Let me tell you what a bling bag is. So we have our signature blue bags. These are our bling bags. And we sell bling bags by tier. So if you purchase a tier one bling bag, uh, it has at least $15 worth of retail jewelry in it. And it could have one item, two items, three items, or it could have a higher tiered item. So a $15 bling bag could potentially have a $25 item in it. But the minimum value is going to be $15. That's right. That's right. And we don't, well, we do have some $10 earrings. We do. We yes. do. And we they have. can be found in bling bags, but they're paired with other things. Our favorite. These are wonderful. Lori, Lori Rooney loves those. Yes. So They're so nice and lightweight, and they go with everything. They're beautiful. They're light. They're resin. They're pretty, and they have a bracelet. We have a bracelet that, that uh, goes along with it. Okay, so in our bling bags, we fill them by tier. So a $15 bling bag, obviously uh, $15. A uh, $25 bling bag, a uh, tier two is $25. And so you would be guaranteed $25 in your bling bag. And you could get one item, two items, again, three items, or a higher tiered item, which would be $35. The $35 uh, bling bag, again, has an item worth at least $35, one, two, or three. So the fun thing that we have about the bling bags is the way that we reveal them. So if you purchase a bling bag for $15 we have a bubble machine and so I put I put your two quarters in the bubble machine I turn the handle and out comes a bubble yay and in the bubble is a number and right now it's 176 so I would go pull bling bag 176 and I would show you the contents so it's a really fun way to add jewelry uh, to your collection or for presents, gifts, uh, treat yourself. You know, we all need statement jewelry and we have plenty of statement jewelry too. So uh, our $15 bling bags, we have our bubble machine reveal, our $25 bling bags. I have my $25 bubble machine reveal. Now for our $35 bling bags, we have a fun, fun method of reveal. We have 24 drawers over here. There are keep or pass. And so for $35, you can, uh, you purchase a bling bag and in order to get the contents of your bling bag revealed, you pick a drawer. And in the drawer is a number. I'll show you. I'll pick number 17. And in drawer number 17 would be bling bag 15. So I would go over and get bling bag number 15. And I would show you the contents. And then you could decide whether you'd like to keep the contents of that bling bag. Or if you'd like to pass. You could say keep. We'll send, you know, then you get to keep it. Or you can say pass, and we'll put this drawer away with the sad number, and you get to pick again. How many times do I get to pass? You can only pass once. I see. So the second, the second drawer is yours to keep. Uh, unless 
There's extenuating circumstances. I don't know what they'd be, but we're always open and flexible. So we have, so for you, uh, those of you just joining us, I am Silver Shells, and this is Silver Shells Bling Party. And we have jewelry, an entertainment calendar. We have strange but true things. We have restaurant recommendations. Do you know what we don't have today? We have a guest. We have, we have a guest, but we, our intern did not show up to do the restaurant recommendations today. Okay, so guess what? <laughs> so I think we can recommend restaurants that we know and love. That's really right. Really easily. That's yes. right. That's right. Where do I go eat? Uh, I go a few places. China Star. They're good. China Star. They have China a buffet. Star, they do. Oh, we went to, I went to eat sushi last night, and there was a all you can eat, but oh, I can't remember. It was in Petaluma. Haku over on Seventh Street it was, is wonderful sushi. Is it really? Okay. And so is Osaki. Osaki. It's said Osaki. People think it's Osaka, but it's not. Osaki. It's O is to give respect to the sake. Osaki. Oh, is that right? Okay. Right. And they have amazing um, Japanese and Chinese food. All right. Let's see if I can find us on here so I can share. There we are. I'm going to share. You share. I'm shared. You share. I'm, I'm going to talk about Neurona Blast. Yeah, do it. Do it. Oh, my gosh. I really would love to have some in our store. We should. I've seen a few, and it's just, it's not easy to put your hands on it. Murano. Venetian glass masters on the island of Murano developed many creative and revolutionary ways to make glass beads. As early as the 1200s, these Venetian glass necklaces were sought after, and they are still made today. Hmm. So the 1200s, that is... I wonder if it's passed down... Like through families or I'm sure it is, things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, and they lucked out when they started doing that stuff. You know, stumble on something like, hey, glass. How about amber? I have some amber facts. Okay, so I almost put on my amber earrings. I have but I really like the ones you have with the honey onyx. That looks great. Yes. Well, amber is made from fossilized tree resin. It must be at least a million years old to qualify as amber, but it can be as old as 120 million years old. Now, I'll, so I have to beg the question. If it's 999,000.9 years, you have to wait another 1,000 years for it to become amber? Considered <laughs> amber. They actually have uh, what... Uh, is like reconstructed amber, I guess. I started to read a little on that. Okay. But uh, anyway, a real amber has to be a million years old. I'm sure they would uh, move the marker a little bit if you were 999,000 years old. <laughs> yeah. This amber I have isn't old enough. That's right. That's right. Ah, darn it. You got to get the clock ticking. Tick, tick, mm -hmm. tick. So amber's been found throughout the world, but the largest and most significant deposits have been found along the shores of the Baltic Seas and sands. The Baltic Sea, the singular, Baltic sea. and sands. So that must have been a huge forest for them to find all the oh, amber out there. Very yeah, good point. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Amber occurs as irregular nodules, rods, or drop-like shades and shapes in all shades of yellow. Nuances of orange, brown, and rarely red. Milky white opaque varieties are called bone amber. Yes, absolutely. Bone amber? I have seen, uh, is it, oh, I can't, I can't recall. Uh, but it's a, it's a opaque yellow chicken fat color. And the name is related to chicken fat, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, amber can contain, in addition to the beautifully preserved plant structures, remains of insects, spiders, annelids, brown, uh, frogs, crustaceans, and other small organisms that become trapped while it was fluid. In most cases, the organic structures have disappeared, leaving only a cavity. Um, interesting. That's really interesting. And 
that was one of the things in Jurassic Park they were using. They were extracting uh, supposedly DNA from these trapped insects that had uh, sucked blood from dinosaurs. Remember? Oh, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. They found that, yeah. That's how they were getting DNA was from amber. That's right. And I don't know if that's really possible, but it was cute in the movie. Yeah, it was cute in the movie. Maybe, uh, yeah, I remember that. Jurassic Park. Well, I have some emerald facts, but we'll talk about those later. Yeah, I got, I got some facts, too, but... Um, so right now, I want to say hi. Randy Tiefer just joined us. Randy. Hey, Randy. Yeah, this is a funny conversation to drop in on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're just chatting about Amber and things like that. Trying to, uh, we're having a good time. And so Randy Tieford has Tiny House Live, and he's with Viral Art Media. And he is going to dark, do the dark side of Oz. And that's pretty exciting because he blends dark side of the moon music with Wizard of Oz, uh, the film. And so it's quite interesting. There's, there's a lot of synchronicity between the two. And uh, one kind of wonders if they were watching the Wizard of Oz where they were, you know, making their music. But... You know, nobody knows. Nobody knows those things. And we want to give a shout out to Pirate, always with Pearl Booty for being our inspiration. Man, you are so awesome. Uh, we like Pirate. And come on down, be on our show sometime next time you're in Santa Rosa. We want you on our show. We do. So, oh, I got to tell. Okay, so here's some people we've had on our show. Randy we tops that list. Randy is number one. Randy Tiford was our first visitor. And so we're very happy about that. Yay, Randy. Uh, we've had Vicki Lesky from Sonoma County Healing Academy. We've had Minkoff Chatoy from A Fool in the Forest. She has a cow's radio show. Alan Watt, he is a singer-songwriter. and Can he... I stop for a second? I want to back up just one You one. back up, talk about... So what... Minkoff... What a great guest she was. What a fun time we had with her. Minky was good. We Minky known. was great. So was Alan with his with his mandolin writing a song out in the in the green room with Lalo. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was great. He just spontaneously came up with the song and you know, oh we have the best guest. We have the best guest. So Alan was excellent. He does the uh, four by four round of singers. They have four singers, they each write four songs, so each singer sings their song, then they start, you know, in a round, and I've sat in at the door a few times uh, with that, so I've been involved with that a little bit. It's quite fun and very interesting. Uh, we had Mandy. Mandy Brooks. Mandy wow, Brooks. what a powerhouse. And her daughter, Justina. And her lovely and demure daughter, Justina. That was so she was much fun. She's such a fun. lovely girl. What great manners she has. She, yeah, yeah. And she was very interested in her dioramas and her, uh, she's a very uh, creative. creative woke girl. So we, mm -hmm. we, uh, we really enjoy supporting our younger artists. Uh, then we had Vicki Guillory. Of the Sugar Cats. Sugar Cats? Oh yes. my gosh, I love her. She was so wonderful. Vicki, if you're watching, we love you. Thank you. Uh, we've had Nate Lopez. He came on and, and uh, sang and played his eight-string eight string hybrid. Eight-string hybrid. So he's playing the bass line at the same time. And he got an award for Best Fingering. In... Arkansas? Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was quite pleased. He was a jazz musician for the Bohemian in 2019. Yes. So we were really blessed to have Nate with us. Yes, what a, he's a world-class musician. That's right. Now, today we have Stanley Carlisle, and Stanley Carlisle is a singer-songwriter, and he is very involved in Guitars for Vets. And he's going to be on at 1.30, and he's going to tell us more about what Guitars for Vets is and how he became involved in this. So 
we look forward to seeing Stanley and we might even get a song out of him. So we're excited about that. Now our upcoming guests, we have uh, Crowbar, uh, Kurt Kangas, so he's coming. Uh, we have Josh Windmiller. February 2nd. February 2nd, and he is with Weekend Youth. Then we have Levi Lloyd, he's coming up. We have Jane Sorensen from the Pointless Sisters. We have Willard from Gator Nation. Uh, we have PJ Malone from at Instrument of Peace. We have Adam Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. Oh, what a great band. I know, oh, I, I know. So Look at all these people we've got on our show. I'm so excited. Rob Ruiz from the Beer Scouts and the Sorrentinos. We nabbed him. And we have Yvonne and Scamp. They, I promise they will be on our show. Uh, we've had to reschedule, but she... They're, we're so excited to have to those. It, she wants to do it. She loves her 49ers a little bit more than she loves us. No. I heard Elisa. Hi, Elisa, honey. Hi. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling better. Uh, I heard there's a, a football game today, but I don't know. 49ers and somebody else. So We're not up on football. No, but to all of our 49er fans. Yes, we love you. We love you, and we hope your team wins. You know, baseball is a really tough, tough baseball. game. Baseball. Oh, baseball. Isn't that's it baseball? Funny. Basketball? Yeah, you get football? it. Football? Yeah. It's a, yeah. That's why I'm... Home run in football. Is that's right. That's for. right. You know, I always cried when there was a sudden death. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, the sudden death? Who died? So, uh, yeah, that's how much I am into uh, football and baseball and things. And, and golf. My mom golf. really liked golf, but... Golf. Oh, and um, last but not least, so we have Bruce Gordon. Uh, he Bruce will, agreed. He Bruce did not did. know we were scheduling as far out as we are, but he has agreed, and he wants to do it, and we love Bruce. We do, and we, we really want to get Donnie Medeiros. Donnie, Lynn, if you're watching, tell Lynn, Donnie. Lynn, make him commit. Yeah, he owes us one. So I do right now have, uh, if, if you're watching and you're a local musician and you'd like to promote yourself, uh, give us, send us a message and we'll see if we can get you on here. Hey Meryl, that was so fun to see you yesterday. Oh my gosh, you got some great, I just love what you got. So I have to tell you, okay, for people just joining us, this is Silver Shell's Bling Party. And Cindy and I have an online jewelry store, www.silvershells.live, and you can shop for jewelry. I know we're not talking about jewelry right now. We're kind of on other things, but we're having a good conversation, so we'll just keep it up. Uh, so go check our store, and you can shop by tier, which is the amount, 15, 25, 35, 50, 75, and $100 and up. You can shop by bracelets, pendants, necklaces, earrings. Uh, you can shop by uh, pearls, sterling, sterling silver. Uh, we have jade, labradite, abalone, uh, everything back here. We have lapis. Uh, we have so much jewelry. There is something for everyone there really is yes. there there is i mean you'd, you'd be shocked we had so yesterday we had a bites and bobbles party and we wanted to start out very small to see how it worked it was a big success and so we plan on having one probably maybe every two or three months and that will be for a season so uh be watching for an invite for the next one and right. and if you didn't get one then hit us up. We'll make sure you get invited. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be promoting this as we go. Right. Also, if you're local and you would like to uh, see the jewelry in person, uh, hit uh, go ahead and and uh, private message either the page or me or Cindy, and we can set up some private viewings for the jewelry because it's really good. 
It's really Pride really, Young is really nice. We've had a few. It is, yeah. We've had a few, and they've worked out really well. Uh, you can take your time. You can look, try stuff on. Uh, so, if you're interested in purchasing, you know, live jewelry, just hit us up and let us know. And look for the red light in the upper left hand corner and if it's on we're live don't start a watch party just come on over come on over to my page uh, silver shells bling party hop on to our video stop in and say hi give us some love i don't see any hearts floating up other people have hearts floating up when they do a live video so i'm, I'm looking for my hearts no okay there we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. You're welcome. That's what I would assume. I know. <laughs> We're a good team. That's we right. are a good team. We make our own fun. We that, don't need any help. No, nope, we don't. We don't need any help from anybody, but it's uh, it's good. The parties are fun. It was a lot of fun. And the next one might be a dance and jewelry party. Ooh, dance and jewelry party. Dance and jewelry and party. cheese platters. And cheese. Ooh, the oh, cheese was so the good. The cheese was amazing. All right, yes. So we, you know, yesterday we, it was, it was small, intimate, and a lot of, of fun. To those of you that missed it, um, you missed it. Uh, it was fun. It was, it was nice. You know, Bonnie no pressure. Hat, our first. Top sharers winner was there. Yeah. And she got quite a few pieces. She did. She got some lovely pieces. Meryl was there. Meryl. Was Meryl. She's, Meryl was she with spun. Us. Oh, and we had a wheel. And it's so. A winner's a, a. What kind of wheel was it? Yes, a dancing, a jewelry party at night with dancing and music videos. Yes. We had a wheel. Exactly. Okay, so that's our wheel. And it was a lot of fun because the two people that spun the wheel got to choose what they wanted from the cheer they won. So it was wonderful. It was a lot of fun. So we had a tier two winner with yep. Shalimar. Yes. And she picked out my favorite necklace. She did. The one that I have for myself. And then Meryl won and she got the Art Deco piece. Ah. The red Meryl, Art Deco. Meryl, I really, really like the Art Deco. We, with the adjustable silver yep, chain, yep, the 22 we inch chain. Yeah, we were looking at that thinking that was pretty awesome. Uh, I've been I enjoy myself. Right? <laughs> so, you yeah. bought the crazy fish <laughs> yeah. earrings? The I did. <laughs> I like the abalone so much, so I bought the little fish earrings, and, and that was good. So, hey, uh, is anybody here? Join me. Meryl is here. Meryl's here. Let Alisa. See. Alisa, we've got... Randy. Randy. So, Greg. We've got Greg. Six... Somebody named Shelly Diane. I don't know about that character. I know. Nancy Contos. What? What? Bling, girl. Bling. All right. Bling. We're, you know what? We're just going to keep talking. We're just going to keep on moving on. I have some jewelry facts. Ooh. Okay. Did you know the oldest and known jewelry ever found are Nasarius shells? found in a Moroccan cave. They are about 82,000 years old and small snail shell beads. They were found in the ancient Blombos cave in Africa. They date back 75,000 years. So See, I would have been that girl back then. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I, I would have been wearing bling, having some snails on my shoulder, yep, yep. you know, as a brooch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot. That's what jewelry first started as. Also, was uh, to close your clothes. You know, clasps for your clothes. Or uh, so it started as utilitarian, and then it became uh, religious, and then a symbol of status. And then, heck, everybody's got it now. Costume jewelry, expensive jewelry. We have. Uh, all this jewelry's 
totally affordable. Everything on the table is from fifteen dollars. Uh, I've got it up to a hundred and twenty-five. So we have. Oh my gosh. Speaking of shells, we have uh, some these Shiva eye shells. They're really I super bet cool. I've been used forever. I wonder how old they are in jewelry. Shiva eye? Mm-hmm. No. Let's find out. All right, we're gonna find out. I can ask Siri. I'll ask Google. Google. So we have, oh my gosh. So we have these two types of Shiva shells, Shiva eye. There's the heart kind. And then we have a drop kind. And we also have a spiral. We have lab grown opal. So, so anyway, yeah, but so the Shiva eye. Some people think they have healing properties, but it's all in what you believe. It's all what makes you feel good. It's all personal. Uh, ooh, that is pretty. It's a solid represent, re representation in Hinduism. It is the third eye in the brow of the Hindu goddess Shiva. So, so this little thing here represents the flow of life, the constant variety of cosmos, spiritual knowledge, and ingenious artistic visualization. Now, I totally believe the artistic visualization. Now, so we're looking at a Shiva eye, this one in the middle here. Oh, let's, oh, you can see it now. You can see it, yeah. It I was curious how Come long on. it's been used in jewelry. That was the original question. Well, okay, it's so not they're talking me. Okay, all right. It doesn't want me to know. Shiva's third eye. Just find Images out. Images for Shiva, Shiva eye in history. Look at us. We're on here. On you know. Anybody know anything? You so know? I Beverly D DJ DL. Not DJ. DL. DL. Hello, DL. DL. We're talking about Shiva Eye. Deborah Lee is quite the photographer. Nice. Very nice. All right. So we're going to continue on talking since... Uh, okay, so this I do know. The Shiva Eye is as old as the Hindu goddess because the Shiva shell is her third eye. So however long the Hindu goddess has been around, so is the Shiva shell. I don't know if that's true. No? No. I make, I make it up as I go along. I know you are. I know, so, you know. But if you do it with confidence that's and right. a smile, people believe you. I'm being, I'm being, I'm Precious, silly. aren't you? I am. Okay, so I want to talk about live insect jewelry. Oh, good Lord. Oh, do we have, we do have. Do okay. we have live insect jewelry? We do not. I would not buy it. Okay, I have dead insect jewelry. I have a dead insect representation of jewelry. We have our it's scarab. It's a representation of a live insect. Okay, all right. It is not dead. It is all inanimate. Right. Okay, so this is a, this is a scarab. These are I'll scarab earrings. With Hi, Cheryl. With baroque. Hey Cheryl. Uh, so Cheryl anyway. Is Daryl's sister. Cheryl's Daryl's. Yeah. Hi Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl, we love you. How's Daryl? Daryl is is hanging in there. Good. He's, he's got a good spirit. Good, good, good. You know, we're sending you love, Daryl. Yes. Okay, live insect jewelry has been popular many times throughout history. Now, live insect. The Egyptians are thought to have been the first to do so by wearing live scarab beetles into battle. The Mexican Makesh beetle and giant Madagascar hissing cockroach have also been used in jewelry in the past. Ugh, cockroach jewelry. Live. Not, They're talking live yeah, insect jewelry. Live dead, you can have them. Well, <laughs> these are, these scarab earrings are our biggest seller for the earrings. We've sold maybe six pair. I have a pair. They're gorgeous. They're resin. They have uh, baroque pearls. They're very pretty. Very pretty. 
you know, only $25, so you can get something really super cool for $25. Well, I bet that's a great deal. It is a great deal. I got them, and Minky got a pair, and who, Lotus has Lotus, a pair. I think my sister got a pair. Somebody else got a pair that they really liked. All right, and then we have Superstitious Jewelry. What time is it? 12.37. Am I... Okay, we were going to do some... We're good. We're good. We're good? I, I think we should keep going. All right, all right. We're having a great time. Okay, I was going to show some jewelry, but I can I can just go like this as I'm talking to you. Look. Mm-hmm. Look. Oh, we have an in-store special. Everything what is 15% it? is, uh, off. Oh, let's do this. Okay, so... Ooh, it's your flash sale. Is that my... Oh, yeah, show something under the camera. All right, all right. Oh, oh Shiva Eye. And we did sell a pair of these yesterday, so I'm going to have to ask Meryl how she likes them. So these are the Shiva Eye. I'm going to be able to do that. There, there we go. go. You've got to block the light. I there know. I know. Oh, those are so pretty. They are so pretty. Yeah, we're having a little blowout there. Oh, let me see if I can adjust it. Sorry. Hang, bear with me, everyone. Sometimes the light is just bizarre. Is that it? No. Take it down okay. a little bit. You're down. too close. Yeah. Down, down, minus. All right, so let me see. Sometimes I... There, there we go. go. That's beautiful. There we go. That looks really good. Okay, so those are the Shiva eyes. They're very... Oh, they're small and delicate, and I love it, and they're $35. So you have the flash sale screen going. At my is, flash sale. What is the flash sale? It's 15% off anything in, in the, the store, store in the entire store? until 2 o'clock. Anything? All of it? All of it. I would say anything and all of it, 15%. Okay, very good. All right. Not so. to be combined with any other offers. No, unfortunately, we can't afford that. But we can afford 15% to our loyal friends that are watching us. Okay, so we have man-made opal. These are some earrings. We so man-made, lab-grown. These are lab-grown opals, and they are sturdier. Oh, look how pretty that is! You see that clay, the clay of color. Uh, so and they're nice. They have a nice clasp back. There we go. They're not going to fall off easy. And so these are also $35. They're sterling set in sterling silver. A lot of our jewelry is set in sterling silver. Come on. All right. There you go. Give it just one second. Drop it down. Mm. My nemesis. The camera. <laughs> the camera. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see if we could do these red. Ah, those are nice. Yeah. Okay. So, Meryl, you're going to have to tell me how you like your earrings. All right. These are rose gold. And Meryl got a pair of these last night. They're so pretty. They were, they're lovely. Now see, now you can see them, kind of. There we go. All right. So, so we have, these are 25, I believe, the rose gold. I think they're 20. Those are 25. Those are 25. 15% off. You can also also buy a bling bag at 15% off. So that's right. That's Everything right. In the store. Everything in the store, even our bling bags. And so, all right, we have more jewelry. Gosh, look at this. Uh, We have bracelets. So I'm going to show you 
We have an abalone bracelet. That's so gorgeous. I Set love in that. sterling silver. Very nice. Look how nice. These are gorgeous. Very lightweight, very delicate, but and it has a decide how how tight you want it. it has the three rings and the toggle so that's one one gorgeous bracelet I had it on one gorgeous bracelet okay and here's our other this is lapis and it's double-sided so this is set in sterling silver and this a bracelet's $35 so it has lapis on the one side, and then you turn it over, and it's got mother of pearl on the other. It's just an absolutely lovely bracelet. Oh, there we go. I look at my fingers, and then I look at the camera going, oh, I missed the camera. So. And it would go lovely with the lapis we have a set of lapis beads these are $25 so look at this great combo here great combo do the both the beads yeah and the lapis nice very nice so we have bracelets we have necklaces we have earrings that match. These are lapis earrings. So you could buy this gorgeous set and it's 15% off. So what would the total be? I'd have 25. And 35 is 60. And how much is the bracelet? 35? Or 50. The bracelet's 35. Okay, so that the earrings is are $95. The earrings are 35. Why is 15%? Oh, look it's at these. Be 80 earrings. something. 81, 82 dollars. Look at these for earrings. The set. Yeah. So if that's something that you're interested in. Ooh, these are great. The little look at the little I lapis. Love those. Sterling silver and lapis. Ooh. They're very delicate and they're, they're pretty light. Come but on. The lapis is a great blue. Yeah, the lapis is really nice. Is my camera, you know, some days it works bring really it down well. A bit. Bring it down. There you go. This. Bring it home in. There you go. There we go. Now you can see. Ooh. Nice beads. Yeah, real nice. Very lovely. Very delicate. Nice got a post on there so if you're interested in dressing up in a gorgeous blue just use that coupon if you want to buy a bling bag get a bling bag and let me know and we can go ahead and set you up for a reveal now I have time. Oh, I just love our jewelry. I love our jewelry so much. I just I want to buy. Oh, and then okay. So while we're on lapis, here Ooh, my favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this so pretty. So this has lapis cabochons. Cabochons. Oh, look how pretty. Sparkly. Oh, yeah. The whole thing, that every inch of this necklace is bling. It is bling city. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So if you're looking for a longer dangle, you want some sparkle, you could probably uh, double this. No, maybe you couldn't. You can't double it, but I did yeah. drape it and fasten it with a brooch behind the neck. Oh, you can. I was able to shorten it, so I had a choker and 
the long tassel. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So it went it goes up like, like that. that. Okay. You use a brooch to fashion. Yeah, nice. Nice. This is $25 for this great with the lapis and the beads. So. I just love it. Then, moving on, we have this gorgeous honey onyx pendant set in sterling silver with a two millimeter choker. Goes on real nice, stays on. This is a beautiful set, $75. Check out this honey onyx. Translucent. It's got a, a gorgeous golden orange color to it. It's just so like, like honey. Real nice metal work. It's a gorgeous piece, $75 for Honey Onyx. And I believe, I thought we had, we have Honey Onyx earrings to match this we also. Do. Yes, we do. Oh. Yep, there I've got that. Oh, I just lose. Oh, carnelian. Oh no, this is not this. This is honey bracelet. Onyx. It's honey onyx. Which? No, I'm looking at this bracelet here. Oh, that's coral. Coral. Re, yes. Re uh, constituted. Re constituted coral. So they take the coral and they fill it in with resin and then they polish it. Uh, coral's really unstable. It's very uh, crumbly. And so, set in sterling silver. Very nice quality. It also has two rings. You can uh, adjust however you like it, however tight, looser or tighter. So nice. So nice. So, if you're interested, Go over to www.silvershells.live. I'm Silver Shells, and my partner Cindy's on the other side. There, she's there. She is. Yay, Cindy! Here I am. Hey, it's me. So uh, we have an online store, and we encourage everybody to go check it out. It's www.silvershells.live, and we ha everything you see behind me is in our store. Everything you see behind me could possibly be in a bling bag. Now I'm going to, uh, for those of you just joining me, uh, we sell jewelry and we sell jewelry in different ways. We sell it from our store. You can purchase a piece uh, by tier, by bracelet, necklace, pendant, by what it is, uh, lapis, pearl, onyx, we have agate, so we have natural stones, we have mystic topaz. Oh my gosh, look at all this great stuff we have. Lab-grown opal, we have real opals, uh, we have white opals, blue opals, we have opal earrings, we have I'm abalone. Opal doublets. Opal doublet. Can you explain a doublet? So a doublet, uh, uh, the opals are cut into a singles, doublets, or triplets. And what, what they do is that sometimes they have real thin layers of the opal and they're not big enough to make a whole stone. So they layer them and bond them together and then they, they shape them. So you wouldn't be able to enjoy this size opal otherwise no. for $100. No. No. This, this piece is $100. That's right. Set in sterling silver. Set in sterling silver. And so we've got some other absolutely fabulous opals also. And, uh, but the doublets and the, the triplets, you, you can't tell because they are layered silica and they, you know, they're just gorgeous. And so Cindy has looked all over the world and she gets quality, affordable jewelry. She buys one of a kind pieces. We get, oh my gosh, she, we have pearls, we have lots of pearls, black pearls, we have natural pearls, baroque pearls, you name it. Uh, we love our pearls. 
All right, what else is it? It is 12.51, what's happening locally? Okay, I think it's time for me to talk about what's happening locally, correct? Well, we could do that or we could look at some more jewelry. We could look at some more jewelry. Okay, why don't we look at jewelry for a minute? Okay. I'm going to go out and check on our guests. All right. Okay. And I will, uh-oh. Show you jewelry. Okay, you're not allowed to have an uh oh while I'm done. Well, it's my thingy in my jack and my jack. I see. Wow. Okay. No more uh ohs. All right. I like our Swarovski earrings. Uh, Heidi just Heidi got a pair. These are very nice. These are thirty five dollars, and they are Swarovski. We have a red pair too, but look at the gorgeous, the green are my favorite. The green are, I'm gonna have to get a pair. So here's the topaz, here's the topaz color. I love Swarovski, man, they, they got such a depth and clarity to their beautiful, look at that shine. And these are set, uh, they're white gold plated, white gold plated, that's right. So, Swarovski, so these are the topaz color. And so we're getting ready for our guest. Our guest is Stanley Carlisle. He is a singer songwriter and he's involved in the palms. Uh, guitars for Vets. So we'll be talking with Stanley in a few minutes. Okay, look at all this. So I was going to ask about these earrings, Cindy. Are these Those earrings are, are doublets. Okay, so these are doublets. So these are opals. Those are doublets. This is a triplet that I'm wearing. Okay, so so these. I think I said doublet earlier, but it's, right. it's, it's it's a triplet. Okay, all right. Now, do these have a play of color in them? We're going to look. So this is a doublet. Ooh, look how pretty! Wow, those are very interesting. You can see it right there. There's a there's a play of color in there. So, oh yeah, so these are gorgeous little earrings. These are $50. So you have okay, some And those opals. are Australian. These are Australian opals, okay. So we have Ethiopian, Ethiopian opals, Australian opals. What else? We have opals from somewhere else. We have Ethiopian opals. Yes, Ethiopian opals, Australian. All right. The white opals are Ethiopian. Okay. All right, we've got just gorgeous stuff, gorgeous. I can't encourage you guys to check out our store enough. It's great, great jewelry, great gifts. Oh my gosh, we had a woman buy four of our little flamingos for her girlfriends. So, ooh, okay, these are my favorite. I, love those. I know. Oh yeah, I, I don't like hers. I think I might have to. Buy a pair of these two. You I'll, keep I'll, saying that. I, I know I'll wait till I get paid though. No, you keep saying that about every piece. <laughs> That's, what I mean. right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I do. I do have to buy them all. I it's just it's gonna be a sickness and it's hard when you got to touch and look and have all this jewelry, you know, so close and you want it for your own? So close yet so far. Yeah, so close yet so far. But you can have any piece you'd like. Any piece. We have Tagua. Oh my gosh, we have the opal bracelet. I should bring that over. Yeah. Love the opal bracelet. That is Ethiopian opal. Okay. Be looking at this one, Ethiopian opal. Oh, there we go. Oh 
my gosh. Look at the color in there. Wow. Now, is this a doublet? Do that know? is not. That is whole opals. That's probably why this one's $100. Set in sterling silver. Look at those gorgeous opals. Holy cow. Ethiopia is producing beautiful opals. Yeah, look at the... So we have the, the pink one right next to the green one. Yeah, we've got a nice clasp here. Let's see what we've got going on. And again, it's got an adjustable clasp. This is a lobster clasp. Very beautiful. It's a very beautiful piece. Yes. We are going to be adding some men's jewelry. We need to start scouting for that. So there's our beautiful opal bracelet. That one's $100. And then I have a lab-grown opal and purple CZ. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, piece. This one's $35. You can see that play of color in there. So uh, lab-grown opals have a lower moisture content than regular opals. Regular opals can have up to 30% water. So when they dry out, they crack and they break. And uh, so lab-grown opals are much more resistant to breaking and crazing. And crazing are fine little lines all over the top of your opal. And my girlfriend's opal broke. She was very sad. But, you know, what are you going to do? Eventually, once you mine them, they start losing their, uh, their moisture content. So anyway, this is gorgeous. $35. We've sold a few of these also. So if you're interested, lab-grown opal and purple CZ. Okay, put that one back. We have a really super cool necklace. What, 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 this is agate. It's like a sea foam, sea type agate. This oh, is, Lisa says she has that one. Yes, one. you do. Oh, the opal. Yes, the, the one opal. she just got. That's right. That's a beautiful one. That one. Elisa got it. I love it. Look at it sparkle. It is totally sparkling. Even in the back. I can see it in the back. So we have other opals. We have wave opals. Uh, heart opals. Here's a dark blue heart opal. Yeah, we're going to put the agate aside for a second. Okay. So there. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that one's yeah. pretty. We also have that in white. We have this in white, yes. We have a peace sign. We have a wave. And I believe we have a mermaid tail. We have a mermaid tail left. So this is a really super cool necklace. This is agate. And it's in a, some kind of a host rock. Almost looks like turquoise how nicely polished those are. This lays very well. It's a heavy statement piece. It's, it's stunning. It's just stunning close up. It's got, uh, it's well made, very polished. There's no sharp edges on this at all. I love that clasp. Yeah. Okay. And so the clasp, this is our, so we have a nice, there we go. How pretty. So that's the back. There's the front. So this one is a hundred dollars, but again, it's 15% off and the clasp is very easy. Let's see if we can get it. Just put it up here like so and pull it through. 
and it's a sturdy look how nicely look how nicely they've done this so if you're interested in a nice statement something truly unique we have a couple of these really nice necklaces i've worn it and i like it i do like it oh we have 15 dollar things is anybody else here anybody 28 comments anybody visiting anybody want to say hi how are you give me some love little hearts floating up okay be that way all right what else do we have i can show you 15 dollar i can show you three $15 necklaces. These are our favorite. Just our favorite. So you say, yeah. You just showed me a $100 necklace. Show me something. I want to see bling. So, we have bling. These are $15. Comes with matching earrings. Love those. This is a five-strand, multi-strand. These are on wire. Elisa also has that one. Yes. Who else has one? This my hair. There's one. We have in blue. Lovely. These are gorgeous matching earrings. So these are, again, $15 plus 15% uh, off. Here's another sparkly one. This has got different beads here. And gold. This and gold, gold beads. Gold beads. Look how pretty that is. And it's got nice earrings. So we have those three. Then I have a purple pit. I have purple. We have amethyst, amethyst chips. Jinx, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. I don't buy Coke. Neither do I. No. Sparkling water, that's about it. Okay, so here are four, you know... Gorgeous $15 necklaces, matching earrings, different colors, different style, very contemporary. Uh, so if you're interested, again, www.silvershells.live. Yes, the professor, just our professor. guys life just goes on huh just goes on so all right now you want to hear what's happening locally probably I can talk slow all right. what's going on locally shells all right are we going to talk about today if we talk about I think we should all right what's going on today what is going on today, Shell? Right, so you need a place to wear your jewelry. You just I do. purchased new jewelry. We're going to go styling. All right. We're going to go show it off. Be confident. Strut our stuff. We are goddesses. That's right. All right. Gary Vogenson and the Ramble Band is at the Aquas Cafe. And they start at 2 p.m. today. Oh, so you better get your butt over there. Only when our show's over. Uh, Mac and Potter at the Main Street Bistro, Bistro in Guerneville. The, okay, what did he say? You have to leave for a few to buy pizza. Oh. You're going to hockey game, eh? Hockey game? I thought you were A? 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 That's a hockey game, eh? That's our friend Randy. All right, Fun Day Blues Jam with Sean Parnell at the Big Easy. And we that love is Sean. A, we do love Sean. We'll have to get Sean on here. Red Barn, too. Yes. Okay. Sean Parnell is fantastic. We're going to have to write these names that down. harmonica. Yeah. Yeah. I like harmonica. All right, so then they're playing at the Big Easy and they, uh, in Petaluma. The Deltas... Lag they are in the Lagunitas uh, oh, football hockey. hockey. Hockey is not football. Hockey is not football. Well, 
what's going on hockey is closer to is this man speak for something i have to leave for a few to buy a pizza for the hockey game to the hockey game i think he meant football because he's teasing us i see i'm being teased you're being okay all right no no don't tease us please <laughs> it's okay all right, uh, Fun Day Blues Jams with Sean Parnell at the Big Easy. The Deltas at Lagunitas Tap Room. They start, I believe, at 420. And that is on North McDowell and Petaluma. And John Courage is at Crooked Gro Goat Brewing Company today at 3. Um, in Sebastopol, and I believe that's where we're going to go see him, correct? Absolutely. We're going to go see John Courage at... Three o'clock at the Crooked Goat Brewing. Uh, okay, the Redwood Arts Council, and this is all today, Sunday, mind you. Oh, love you, Randy, love too. You back, Randy. Bye, bye. Randy's awesome. You guys got to check his page out. Uh, he does the video for Redwood Cafe, and he also does his viral media art. So be sure to check out Randy T. Ferd. Tell him Shells and Cindy sent you. Yeah. All right, the Redwood Arts Council presents a San Francisco Piano Trio. That is at the Occidental Center for the Arts. A Matt, piano trio. A, 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 yes. Piano a, trio. That has me fascinated. I hope they... Well, How many yeah. pianos are involved? Three. Are you sure? Well, it says trio, but... Does that mean the people are a trio? It could be the pianos are a trio. It could be one, three guys, one, maybe one guy has one, two, two pianos. I don't know. This could be fun. It could be. It's in Occidental at the Occidental Center for the Arts, and that starts at 4 p.m. So if you're interested, contact the center, the Occidental Center for the Arts, and they'll be able to give you some direction. The Gold Coast a Jazz Band uh, tonight at Redwood Cafe. <clears throat> uh, that starts at 6 p.m. It's probably a $10 to $15 cover charge. I, I don't know. The Del Novas at Elephant in the Room in Hillsburg. And we like Elephant in the Room. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like parking. There's really ample parking for Coyote Sonoma yeah. and Elephant yeah. in the Room. We just walk back and forth. That's the place to go. Uh, okay, so uh, now we're talking Monday. Now Monday is the our pro night. Our night, our night, the girls' night out. We go to Pro Jam, and that's at the Redwood Cafe at eight o'clock on Mondays. Donnie Medeiros has the Blues Defenders, and that's Donnie plays the bass, and Matt Silva plays the lead guitar. Bruce Gordon is on the keyboards nick otis plays fabulous drums and jeff pache my favorite singer and harmonica player so they have a guest artist every other week and i think this tomorrow night no guest artist right because we had one last week no we did not oh i believe this week is miss d miss d miss d let me verify that. Okay, all right. Yeah, Miss D's a lot But it of seems fun. like it was Miss D. I think so. I think that's what I, I saw it in the back. <laughs> Miss D at Pro Jam. <laughs> Tonight's guest, Miss D. All right, we're looking forward to uh, it. No, that's Levi's Workshop, January 7th. That is over. Right. I'm verifying Miss D for this week. She's right. Oh, May 28th. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Uh... Should ask Randy. Yeah, Randy would know. This... Oh, I just saw good old Joe. Recommends. That's funny. Blast from the past. Okay, so I'm not finding for sure. About Misty. So I'm going to show up because Charlie is listening to oh, your voices Charlie. and likes bright, shiny things. Kitty, kitty, so, kitty, 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 Charlie. So we are kitty, bright kitty, kitty, and kitty. shiny. We are. We are things, too. Uh -huh. Bright and shiny things. All right. Who joined us? 
I see a green up there. Laura Womack. Laura Womack. Love hey, how are you? Did now Pirate sent you over to us, right? Is no, that... that's uh, Randy's friend. Oh, Randy Randy's has friend. A jar. That's right. And Laura. Okay, I'm sorry. And Laura, Laura guessed the amount of change, and they became fast friends. And went out to dinner and spent that. That spent was that a change. lovely story. That was fun. That was fun. I don't think I could do that because then people get the wrong idea. Hey, guess how much is in this jar and take shells out to dinner. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> On your time. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, I'm hungry. Okay, are you done with entertainment? Uh, no, 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 because I we just got... We're stuck on Pro Jam. Okay, so we we got on Monday. We believe Ms. D is coming this Monday, yes. but we're not sure. I'm pretty sure Ms. D is coming, 99%. Uh, anyway, uh, so Bo Haas, Boogie Boys, on Tuesday at the Fern Bar in Sastbol. And there is an open mic at the Trade Winds Bar in Katati. And they also are gonna be doing something else down there. Uh, so, and, there, and always there's a didgeridoo clinic at the Arlene Francis Center in Santa Rosa. It's free. That tickles me. Yeah. I love that there is a didgeridoo clinic I, I that did we can go and we can learn didgeridoo. For free. For free. For free. All right. I have a <coughs> page of my own. One, Pardon. two. Okay. <coughs> we have a lot of music. All right. We did that. Uh, uh, Kendall Rocks Rex at Lagunitas Tap Room on Wednesday, January 22nd. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's in Petaluma. Starts at 420. Christian Foley Benning at the Fern Bar in Spastopol. That's on Wednesday. Brian Bowden, Bowdon at the Belly Left Coast Kitchen and Tap Room uh, on 4th Street in Santa Rosa. Now, I haven't heard of that one before, so it's Belly, a new... It, it, the food is supposed to be quite uh, <coughs> to die for. Excuse me. <coughs> critically acclaimed, that's what I understand. We'll have to try it out. We'll have to, we'll have to go live and... Tweet our meal. Is that what we do? We tweet. We tweet. We don't tweet. No, we don't tweet. We're not no, tweeters. No, we're not tweeters. We're at Instagrammers. Point, I think we might consider tweeting in the future. I'm. We're a little bit Instagram, not a lot. I'm still, it's a, a learning curve, and it is. It's something we need to get into. Though. We do. We do because I've been. People have been friending and liking and following, but I need somebody to help me learn Instagram. Anyway. So I'll put that out there. I need to learn Instagram. Uh, okay. So, so, oh, here we go. Sonoma County Blues Society at the Trade Winds Bar on Wednesdays at the Old Redwood, uh, at the, in Katani, sorry. The Fourth Sun is at Lagunitas Tap Room on Thursday. Adrian West Duo is at Aquas, Aquas Cafe, uh, in Petaluma, and that is on Thursday. These are all the rest on Thursday. The English Beat at the Mystic Theater and Music Hall, and that's in Petaluma. So I would call or go on the website for Mystic Theater and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's okay. At Take a drink of water. Abby K and oceanography. Abby K. Big easy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be right back. I'll take an intermission for a moment. <laughs>
Thank you, everybody. I just had, I've been working through that cough and I have a little residual, so sorry about that. Uh, okay, so Trouble in the Wind. It will be at Elephant in the Room on Thursday. And the Adrian West duo will be at the Aquas Cafe in Petaluma on Thursday. So that looks like all I've got. That is, can you believe how much entertainment we have? That was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I had three pages. And this isn't all. This is only things that we find interesting. There's other stuff that... A uh, lot of DJ action during the week. Yeah, yeah. We don't tend to report on DJs, although, I mean... Like at the Flamingo? Us, and we'll report on it, no problem. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I have weekend entertainment. Should I go do it? That? Okay. Do it. Weekend entertainment. We have weekend time. entertainment. All right. Here now this is, is next County. weekend. So this is the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. Okay. So for Friday the twenty fourth, I have the following. I have Ellie James at Aroma Roasters. Okay. John <laughs> Vicino at Jam Cellars in Napa. Mm. We'll share a couple of out of Sonoma County items that are of interest. Yeah. Sure. Uh, burnt at Elephant in the Room. Burnt. In Healdsburg. Burnt. Okay. Burnt. Sonoma Sound burnt. Syndicate at Murphy's Pub, Irish Pub and Restaurant. Now, you said that's not really a dancing venue. No. A little bit of a disappointment, but they're supposed to have good food and... Um, the if, entertainment is if, really good. If you like to sit and listen, it's great. If you right. if you go somewhere to dance, it's not the place. So, sorry. Okay. The fabulous biotone. We like the fabulous biotone. We like them at the Twin Oaks Roadhouse. Kind of missed the Twin Oaks a little bit since the Blues Defenders moved. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm really happy with Redwood Cafe. Yeah. Um, I kind of miss. The uh, the last owner, Sheila. Oh yeah, yeah, Sheila. Ed it was a different venue when she had it. Yeah. Right. Well, she's gone on to managing, create, managing, managing, plus she's singing, learning. Yes, and right. she's got a new uh, CD out. She's got a great voice. Sheila Tracy. Yeah, she's yeah. got a really, really good Okay, person. so the Fabulous Biotones are at uh, the formerly Sheila Tracy's Twin Oaks Road House. Um, now it's a hot month endeavor. Yes. Okay. At uh, No Name Bar in Sausalito, that just caught my eye. The fat, uh, Matt Renzi Quartet in Sausalito. Yeah. The North Bay Rockers are going to be at Spanky's Bar Friday the 24th. Ooh, Rockers. We will. That's in Katati. Willow and Hound at the Aquas Cafe in Petaluma on Friday. Then we have the Bronze Metal Hopefuls at the Fern Bar. And I'm wondering about the silver and the gold medals. Why weren't they hopeful for that one? I, you know what they we we're, have we're those, hopeful they for were hopeful. mediocrity is that what it is hopeful just for anything maybe a anything yeah okay so that that's interesting Haiti baby plus Ka Capolo and guests at the Phoenix Theater Friday January 24th this sounds like reggae to me sounds like reggae yes and then Juice J O O S E is playing Coyote Sonoma on Friday in Healdsburg. No, we like, yeah, yeah. So we're fans of Coyote Sonoma. Yes, got we a are. Big, nice, nice, big venue. Nice, nice dance, dance floor. floor. No food. No food. No, they took the food out. No so food. it's just lots it, of beer. Lots of beer. And a couple of chips and lots of dancing to do. Games also. They have yeah. Games. Ski ball and what's Ski that? A shuffleboard? Pong, shuffleboard. Um, then we have at the Big Easy, Dominic Bianco and the Soul Shake. That sounds very interesting to me. Uh, the Big Easy, American Alley in Petaluma, January 24th. Hot Grub is playing at Lagunitas Tap Room in now, Petaluma. I know Gary Grubb. I like them. Okay. I think they're very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice people. Momo Tombo, SF, 
at Redwood Cafe. Now, this is the one that Randy was telling me about in, in Lalo. Mama, okay. The Mama, Lalo Tombo. Mama okay. Tombo. Mama Tombo. Mama Tombo. Mama Tombo. SF. And there's former band members of Santana's group, I believe. Cool. I cool, think cool, that cool. was the the draw there. Then at uh, Hot Monk in Sebastopol, again, still on Friday the 24th, is Afro Man. Afro, Afro Man. Man. And I'm sure he'll be great. Afro Man. Afro Man. Then we have also Friday, January 24th at the Hot Monk in Sonoma. That's the, the Sonoma hot, okay. hot Monk. Okay, all right. Is Nate Lopez. Oh, so we love Nate. I have to include Nate. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. We want to really uh, plug Nate we because he Nate. was really great. He's amazing. That that guitar has quite a sound. Sakiyana. Sakoyana at the Arlene Francis Center on January 24th. Then we have on Friday still the Lithium Jazz Trio. Okay. That intrigues me. Do you think they're depressed? Uh, I wouldn't. Well, I don't know. Would you I don't want know. Lithium. Lithium is an element. Lithium is interesting. Lithium. Is so, that a drug? It's also a drug, yes. They use lithium to treat uh, depression. Oh. Yes. Well, okay, so maybe they're likening themselves to an, a mood uplifting drug. I think that could be it. On Friday, also January 24th, Lucky Old Bones in the Business End at Shady Oak Barrel House. Lucky um, Old Bones in the Business End? In the Business End, get this address. It's at 421st Street in Santa Rosa. So they couldn't have done better. Sonoma Aroma. I have not heard this, but it's a great name. Hudson Street Wineries in Healdsburg. Uh, Real and Brand has Igor and the Hippie Land. That's in Sonoma. Igor in the Hippie Land. Igor and the Hippie Land. And I am still on Friday, January 24th. Oh my God. Aroma Roasters, Ellie James. Oh no, that is not right. <laughs> I read that one already. I have all Friday. I don't have Saturday. Okay. I... Let me get Saturday up here real quick. Yeah, because I just have to Why don't you Thursday. show some jewelry for a minute? Yes, because then we have and six And I'll do minutes. Saturday real quick. Anybody want to see any cool jewelry? How about our fluorite earrings? Check these out. They're hangers. Their earrings. Oh, let's see. Let's get that all untwisted. One buggy thing about earrings is they always have those little twisty things. But check these out. They're fluorite. And they're cute, little clever uh, clothes hangers. A little hanger. Took me a minute to remember that word. Oh no, clothes hanger. <laughs> <laughs> And so it begins. Yeah, and so it begins. And so it begins. So these are great. These are beautiful stones. It is a heavier uh, uh, earring. So, but look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. All the stones are totally unique. So it's not like it's a, you know, these certainly are not cookie cutters, that's for sure. But they've got great stones, pink, and we like fluorite. Fluorite. Okay, I have my weekend report up. All right. We can transfer this. Hello. Hello, all. Apparently, my weekend report didn't get printed. So here it is. It was that intern. That intern just did not show up. Yeah, I, I know. That sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, the Saint. Where is that? That's Saint Helena. Uh, Journey Day Roarer. 
at the saint in St. Helena. Is that like a rural gerber? Mm, I don't know. Journey de Rorer. Journey de Rorer. Rorer. That's a hard to pronounce name. It's R H O R E R. Rorer. A journey. Okay, so. A lot so, of R's. That's a lot of R's in one short word. Right. Then we have Puff and Horn at Rio Nido Roadhouse. This is all Saturday, folks. Puff and the Horn. Puff and Horn at okay. Rio Nido Roadhouse. I, I bet that they're horns. I wouldn't bet on anything. A little puffin, puffin horn. Then we have Cuddy Vibes presents act Avativities. Avativities. That's a, a made-up word. Cutty at the Arlene Francis Center, January 25th. These are all Saturday. Fargo Brothers at the Main Street Bistro in Guerneville. Oh, I, oh, I want to see this one Saturday the 25th. Saturday the 25th. This is where I'll be. Flaming Groovies and the Sorrentinos at the Redwood Cafe. Folks. Come and see us down there. We yeah. might be uh, uh, broadcast. We might be live streaming at right. that time. Exactly. So we want to live stream. So come on down and you can sit in on our live stream and say hi. And we have Wendy DeWitt at the Hot Monk in Sonoma okay. on Saturday. Singer, she is songwriter, pianist, okay. keyboardist. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. I, I heard her at trade, uh, the Twin Oaks. Okay, then we have James White at Spanky's Bar in Katati. We have Realms of Vision with Amongst Thieves and Lord Mountain. At Three Disciples Tap Room uh, in Santa Rosa on Mendocino. So I, I'm going to repeat that. Realms of Vision with Amongst Thieves and Lord Mountain. That's three different bands at Three Disciples Brewing Tap Room. Ooh. The Highway Poets, we love them. Sebastian St. James, Elephant in the Room in, Sino in Healdsburg. And that's Saturday the 25th. That's the same... That's the same night as hmm, Sorrentino. Sorrentino's. Death in Taxes and Moonsick. Shady Oak Barrel House in Santa Rosa. I get Moonsick, you know. There's Samba Da at Hot Monk Sebastopol. There is the Ricky Allen Yay! Ray Band. We love yes, Rick. Ricky Ray. I want to get Ricky Ray on here too. I'm going to start writing down Roasters more names. In Santa Rosa. And we have Amity Jane, Aquas Cafe in Petaluma. This is all Saturday, folks. Tyler Crandall at the Fern Bar in Sebastopol. Fleetwood Mask oh, at the Mystic Theater. I love Fleetwood Mask. They're great. Oh, in they are Petaluma. so much fun. Yeah, but that's that's probably a twenty dollar, right? Two dollar, yeah. Back Porch Project, Twin Oaks Roadhouse in Pengrove. And so, we have Crowbot, Crowbot, and Kaiserville Gun Club and Bar Lounge in Sonoma. Okay, now it's one thirty. We 1:30. don't know about Crowbot. No, we have no idea. It's it's one thirty. The we... hot the hots are playing at the Big Easy in Petaluma. Oh yeah, on Saturday too. Okay, and who else do we Stompy have? Stompy Jones. Pitchforks at the Starling Bar. Not familiar with the Starling Bar in Sonoma. Okay. Sean Carskadden or Carskaden at the Crooked Goat Brewing at 3 p.m. on Saturday, January 25th. Okay, and now I think that we need to... We need to break. We need to... Or stand. Yes, we need to bring our guest in. It is time. It folks. is time. It so it is time for intermission. Please don't go away. Don't we'll go away. Right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay. We'll be right back with Stan Carlisle, and he's going to be playing his maybe playing his guitar for us. I'm not sure, but okay. We're gonna and ciao for now. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>
Silver Shells, Silver Shells Bling Party, and we have with us singer-songwriter Stanley Carlisle today, and he's going to talk to us about <clears throat> several things and play some music. Uh, hello, Stanley. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Shelley? I'm doing very good. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to be us. Yeah. It, it it is. It's it's uh, it's good to be on the show. Okay, uh, so we know that you are involved with. Uh, first, I'm going to say this is a seven-string washburn he's holding. It's a special guitar, and it's got seven strings. Do you play the? Do you have a bass line that you play on that with it? Oh or? yeah, I do. Uh, actually, I just picked it. I just got it. I play guitar most of my life, and uh, I've always wanted an extra little bit of bottom. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now I have it. This is the seven-string I tuned to D. Some people do variations, but most it's generally tuned to. D, which is like a, it complements, you know, uh, it backs up the E, the sixth order, yeah. the sixth string. And so uh, I'm, uh, I've been learning it. Uh, so it's like a, in my later uh, musical, uh, you know, uh, incarnation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. How many, how many I've had, and, but uh, I've uh, picked up other instruments, ukulele and. You know, and uh, banjo and, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And I've, I've been playing with some folks uh, where I live. And uh, there's, it's really, uh, it's really expanded my, my musical enjoyment. And, you know, I, 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 I write. Um, I, the first three chords I learned, I wrote a song. I, 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 really? Yeah, well, How old were you? How I was, uh, oh, 12, and I was a tween. A tween? Or oh, just almost 13, yeah. And then uh, that's when I first. Uh, uh, I took five lessons and I go, I got this, you know. Uh -huh. uh, that's I, funny. That's a kid for you, five yeah, lessons. Yeah, 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 is, I, yeah. got it. I got it. Yeah, and that, that's funny because, uh, well, I'd already played other instruments. I've, I've always been, anything I get my hands on, I'm making noise with, you know, the, yeah. the drum, the, the, you know, percussion, whatever. And, Tell her about the bass. Oh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, I took the bass in seventh grade and uh, at Dallas, Southern California, David Starr, Jordan Junior High School. You might even want to look that up because it's a pretty interesting school but uh yeah i took the upright bass and uh, we did some orchestra things you know with the orchestra and all that and um there was a young a girl uh, valerie wood who also was taking bass with me and uh, i really liked her but i don't know i don't think she liked me too much because i was always wisecracking to her and one day she goes stanley i go yeah you know she's got she was tall and, and gorgeous you know to, to me you know she was tall, and and anyways, I uh, so was I, and so I, I went over to her, I said, yeah, and and I, I, she goes, and I go, yeah, and she psh, slapped me right across <laughs> the face. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, anyway, yeah, so that, that, that was pretty, welcome to music. Funny. Yeah. So, what's the difference between an upright bass and a cello? And a cello, well, is it? I mean, they have those big upright size, the sizes. But uh, the cello, okay. Mr. Besser was our instructor in seventh grade, and he played the cello. That was his favorite. Speak up a little bit, Stan. That was his favorite. Or turn the music down just a little bit. Mr. Mm -hmm. Besser, yeah, I could provide a little bit. Of... Mm. Oh yeah, there you go. He had accompaniment. All right. Anyway, see this. So yeah, he played that. And he, he would always show us how to do the fingering for our string instruments on his wrist, you know. And, and he did this vibrato, which was pretty out of sight. I've never seen anyone do a better vibrato than him. Uh, Ooh, doing okay. his strings. Oh, yeah. 
and he showed us how, to, how it was done. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, it was uh, uh, well. Anyways, it was part of my formative, uh, you know, experiences. You know, uh, as far as my approach to music, which was. Uh, I used to take the bass and put it up on my leg, like a like it was a regular oh, okay. guitar, you know. Okay. And you know, because back then the the song boots, you know, Nancy Sinatra was popular. These boots are made for walking, and yeah. that's just what they'll do. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, so I would do that, and he'd be just like almost tearing his hair out, Stanley. You know, he had this German accent too, yeah, but he was a good guy, and and, uh, and then I used to just uh, go sneak in, play all the other instruments, and the keyboard, the piano, and stuff, you know, when. Uh, I had a chance. So yeah. once you play, you learn how to play uh, the guitar, then you're able to play other instruments? Well, I already played other instruments, and uh, the, the guitar wasn't my first yeah. instrument. There was a violin, the clarinet, uh, the uh, ocarina, like as you featured on Wild Thing, the song Wild Thing, that little flutey sound. Okay, there. That's all right, ocarina. all right, okay. That's an ancient uh, wind instrument, actually, very ancient. Yeah. Can you make one? You can make wind. one, yeah, and and if you if you Google it, you can find some real nice ones made out of you know ceramic and so on, and they they have different tones. But the ocarina I played was like a big fat cigar like that, and it was in the third grade where I first picked that up. And yeah, it was it was interesting. A, I love that sound, and uh, to see then another one was the African finger piano. I got a hold of that one, and I just I just was went to town in that for. Now the finger piano, they're a little box that you, like you do cord, the thumb, like can you do the cord, thingy yeah, there? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah, so always had that, you know, that in me. Um, I, I can't say that I'm, I'm naturally talented, but I was naturally, uh, um, you know. Uh, I had a natural propensity for music. You learned quickly? Music and okay. Well, right. I don't know about learning quickly. I've always improvised. I always made up my own stuff. Oh, okay. And that's, that was it. You know, I had, had sounds in me that needed to come out, you know, so it was a good thing. Yeah. So tell me about, you are involved with Guitars for Vets. Well, I'm involved in the sense of uh, I'm not a veteran, but uh, where I live at the Palms Inn on Santa Rosa Avenue, which is assisted... Uh, uh, you know, uh, housing uh, place. It's for uh -huh. formerly homeless people. It's for veterans. They're, they have 104 units there, formerly hotel rooms. It was okay. the Holiday Inn. Uh, actually, it was the Palms. You know, uh, last use it was the Palms Inn. Before that, it was the Holiday Inn and so on. And uh, yeah, it has a hit, quite a history there. You know, Palms, okay. Yeah, a whole lot of ghosts, right. ghosts there and so on. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a great place. It's a it's it's a community. Actually, a few several communities within the community, and there's uh, Catholic Charities manages it. Uh, those who know anything about Catholic Charities, uh, it, it's actually that's a, a, also a, a nation nationwide organization, and uh, they're uh, well they they. When I was in the hospital near death, uh, after being on the streets for a couple of years, uh, depression and things like that, it just I, I didn't really I didn't even know what was going on at that time, why I was where I was really. I mean I knew, you know, the things leading up to it, the events, but not uh, what was driving my my, you know, lack of uh, uh, ability to participate, you know, in. In life, in life, yeah, in society, yeah. you know, and I, I had up to that time uh, done done okay, you know. I always had issues and stuff like, but um, uh, everything caught up with me. So they put their hand out. I took it, and I wound up in a, in a, a shelter. I was near death, though. Like I said, I had pneumonia, and, and I just my core temperature was eighty nine when they uh, uh, when they rescued me and. Uh, that's not too good. Like, no, yeah, so, yeah, so so they, they moved you into the palms. I, Is no, that first? Uh, I went to a Sam Jones shelter, okay. and that was a real, uh, you know, uh, well that for, in the first place it gave me, you know, a bed and warmth and and food and, and a place to start, you know, pulling myself together again. But uh, I didn't do it by myself, and I there they had plenty of resources, and uh, I wound up going to therapy, trying several different. Antidepressants and until with disastrous results until one finally kicked in. Yeah, but it was all in a safe environment. Oh, was well, good. To come back and uh, you know be uh, get to be me again. You know, 
Now, throughout all this, what happened to your music? Were you playing oh, music no, no. through this? You I, gave it up? I had an instrument. I had a storage place that uh, I had some help uh, maintaining that, but uh, I, I never took my guitar out on the street, you okay. know, because I would go and visit it, though. You go like, visit, yeah, yeah my like, guitar. Well, yeah, I was just there. Yeah. You know, we get together. It was hard. Again. Life is hard. And so, yeah, I would go and visit it, and, and uh, you know, her, actually, she has a name, it's uh, Ibanez, you know. And, and you named your guitar? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do, I always name them, yeah. And uh, this uh, Washburn, I'm really thinking about George, because George Washington, they've oh, yeah, normally been female, but I like George Washington. Yeah, it could be Georgina. And it well, could be. <laughs> and, and I could be Stanlietta if I That's were right. a female. That's right, Stanlietta yeah. and Georgina. <laughs> so would you like to, now you write, oh, all right, okay, so. Uh, this guitar is for vets. It's a nationwide program, yeah, it's back and it's to that. sponsored by the Kiwanis. Well, no, no, locally uh, it's not necessarily sponsored, but it's uh, <coughs> it's, uh, uh, it's 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 largest local benefactor. And we, uh, you know, we we play. We uh, it's not an exclusive uh, group. You know, we 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 meet at the Palms on Mondays and Friday and Wednesdays uh, from one thirty to. Uh, or two to <coughs> three thirty. I should a lot of us show up earlier, so two o'clock to three thirty at the Palms thirty three forty five Santa Rosa Avenue. It's not exclusive, however, um, they they do um, kind of a vetting thing. You know, if someone comes in there and tries to, well, start running the group or something right, like that. That's right. not happening because Christiane, who's the veterans uh, VA representative there, she uh, facilitates that group and what we do is we get together and, and <coughs> we jam there's lots of different levels of experience there okay so we have anywhere from three to ten or uh, more people uh, you know kind of showing up and uh, we have a core group of uh, really seven and uh, uh, you know, we, we become good friends too you know we, it's okay here's with the guitars for vets thing it's all about the healing power of music mm. It is. It okay, is. the healing power of music. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll be. She'll be like right on stand if she ever. Well, she'll see us, uh, I guess. And uh, anyways, though, but it's true. I and it is so true about that. And once I, you know, say when I settled back at the Palm, or I mean, when I settled at Sam Jones, I got my guitar out of yeah. storage and I started playing it again. And you know, and and kind of coming back to life right. with, with that in itself, it reoriented me to who I am and and you know my life's journey and. My music, and so on, and uh, actually, Cindy, uh, she she helped to get me going back on in, on that path again too. So I'm really grateful to her. I want to give a shout out to Cindy, Yay. You know, Cindy Ann Jenkins, Cindy. yeah, because she she's awesome. <coughs> so, and, uh, so you music has helped you through your depression and through your struggle it and has. and it, now you're you're you feel like you're giving back to the community i certainly and, am yeah. well, certainly am in a lot of ways that uh, you know that yeah there's not enough time here i'm sure to to go into but yes i i get back and and i i uh you know i uh i believe that that uh you know, I mean, everyone deserves an, another chance, you know, and then another, and then another, and then another. Yeah, if you don't he, give up on people You know, people it's like, it, yeah, it's sort of a, uh, like a, a story I like. It's just like the, this fellow, he's a journalist, but he came to, went to this monastery, and he sees what's going on. It's very quiet and peaceful there, and people are, you know, doing, raking the, the rock garden and so on. But um, and he goes, well, but what are you guys really, what are you really doing here? You know, he goes, well, what do you do here? He says, and then the, his brother Mark at, answers him. He says, "Well, we fall down and we get back up, <laughs> and and it is, you know it's, it's like again a safe place, a sanctuary, you know, a place yeah. where you can go. You can make mistakes. You can learn to not be ashamed, uh, embarrassed, or or you know feel feel guilty about your your mistakes. Uh, and and are they really uh, errors or?" Or certainly sin, or not sins, but um, rather uh, stepping stones to you know learning uh, experiences, better, better understanding, right? You know? Right, and better understanding. Yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Opportunities. Yes. Opportunities. And you've done very well. Windows, yeah. I mean, people go go down and do it now. So you write your songs. Yeah, I want to back up one second about okay, the guitars for vets. When a veteran yes. shows up there, here is where it is exclusive. 
Uh, he'll get guitar lessons if uh, you know if he's not particularly uh, advanced or so okay. or even if he is you know intermediate or whatever we have advanced lessons as well and then after he uh, does 10 lessons completes 10 lessons then he gets a guitar yeah excellent so you know, that, that's and I've, I've been president at several or quite a few <laughs> Uh, graduations where they get that guitar and some people actually I was kind of hard not to get choked up about it because yeah. knowing where some of these folks these guys men and women had come from where they've been you know and how the music had helped them to get centered and grounded again and have some identity you know better identity and uh, interaction in connection you know with, with other fellow human beings and veterans I uh, was just you know, it's just, it's magical. It's so humbling. I'm grateful to be a part of that, and, and my, my contribution to that, as far as that goes, you know, I've given some, some help as far as, you know, uh, tutorial type of stuff, but uh, where it's just being a part of that, and then, you know, my, my presence and my uh, participation, you know, helps to keep, you know, keep the bar up there. Yeah, I, and I, it helps like you to too. Oh, it always sure keeps it you always, on track. You know, as as you give, you you get. That's you know, right. That, that healing, that love flowing through you. You know, that that heals you on the way through. You know, and it always comes back to you. So can anyone go to the Palms on those days and listen? Or sure, they certainly yeah. can. They are welcome. And I'll, I'll I'll put my name on that. And uh, you know, uh, no, it's it's true. Though. They are welcome. Yeah. We 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 invite people to come and listen and and, and enjoy it. Not only vets, but anybody, anybody, like, can I walk in off the street and, yes. and go to the, so what's the address of the Palm? It's 3345 Santa Rosa Avenue. Okay, 3345 yeah. Santa Rosa Avenue, mm -hmm. and Tuesdays and... Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays from, and Wednesdays. From 2 to 3.30. And, and where? We usually show up earlier than that. It's in, uh, you go in through the lobby there, the hotel lobby. <laughs> And uh, just to uh, just go to the, say you're, what you're there for, and it'll be directed just back to the uh, what we call the library. Okay. It, it, it was a bar before. It, it was, was a bar. The Casbah. Oh, yeah, the Casbah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm friends with the owner also, Akash. I worked for his parents at the old Los Robles Lodge. Oh, until cool. until it, it closed down in August 2006. Yeah. And they're wonderful people, Joy and Andy. You know, well, Andy Kalia and Joy Mukherjee, Akash's parents, and then uh, he wound up uh, buying it from them, and he turned it into what it is today. Akash Kalia, he's a really wonderful guy. Nice. You know, young, young man, too. You know. And now how do the vets get their guitars? Do they? Well, they're donated. Uh, okay. Well, the money's donated. Sometimes instruments are donated too. You know, and sometimes some pretty outrageous. Uh, real fine instruments. You, so, know, you never get anything that's low end or anything like that. Always at least a Yamaha, you know, nice six string acoustic, uh, steel acoustic, you know, something like that. So if you got any spare guitars laying around that you would like to donate, think about donating them to the Guitars for Vets at the Palms. Absolutely. And uh, we also had other things going, like a drum circle. We had that ongoing for oh, several years. drum yeah. circle. Yeah, we know Rick Hull likes the drum circle. Yeah. 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 And we, we do that. And uh, we're, we're starting that back up to uh, actually this spring. So, yeah. Do you do them outside? Uh, yeah, and we do them in the library too, which... Uh, because we get mixed uh, uh, re reviews from that from the, some of the staff who work at Vest, <laughs> yeah. you know, is the drumming, uh, maybe it just gets them a little nervous or something. Yeah, because it's, uh, yeah, bang, 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 bang. Know, bang. It's not a bang, bang, but it is, it is, but yeah. it, it's like, it, maybe it, uh, there's something in their past, you know, that, that bothers them about that. Or the snare drum, yeah. Well, no, we don't do that. We do <laughs> no like snares, jim, jim just bay. okay. Yeah, that, that's, you know, that's some <coughs> other instrument I, I, I really didn't get proper recognition to because I, <coughs> I picked up the djembe uh, uh, four years ago, and I've become uh, fairly, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, well acquainted with it, and uh, I love that instrument. I play it every day. I, I have one in my play. Oh, place. cool. Fortunately, the walls are really thick, and my yeah. neighbors are really cool, so they, they actually like it when they... There are a lot of that, musicians yeah. and yeah. like music. There, and... there, are, there are musicians all about and, and people who don't even know they're musicians. And music is really, you know, uh, there there's music in everything, you know. You know there uh, is. There, yeah. Would you like to play? You know, you've written sure. your I think own you songs. Be before it gets too late. Sure, yeah. yeah. I, have, I have songs. That, uh, yeah. I was thinking of doing something like really, you know, spiritual and stuff. And 
uh, this and that, and, and I started to, and then I go, mm, yeah, bull. And now I was going to do something. Uh, it's a true story. True story. Uh, yeah, be, uh, yeah, it's a true story. All right. It's called uh, <clears throat> This Morning. All right. And uh, I remember I'm getting acquainted with this. Stanley uh, Carlyle is our gift. Yeah. He's a uh, is our guest. Our gift. He's a singer songwriter. Like younger gift, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> is yeah. That what yeah. You said? Well, yeah, you can like it. Um, This is something else I picked up recently as a slide after yeah, yeah, 15 years, yeah, finger. 50 years of, uh, you know, playing. I thought, maybe I'll mess with a slide. And, I don't know, those people got me doing all kinds of stuff that I hadn't thought I would do. Nice. So you're just learning slide? Uh, well, um, yeah, because I started teaching myself plus YouTube tutorials. If you want to learn an instrument, go on YouTube. You learn any instrument there is. To, the YouTube. Play. Yeah, 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 come on. You know, Everybody, well, everybody's got something to say on YouTube. Yeah, and I would definitely recommend getting the premium. You know, it cuts out the ads and yeah, that and you, get, you know, downloads and all that good stuff. Uh, about twelve dollars a month. Anyways. Anyway, so, we are ready. For so yeah, this is called uh, this morning. I remember, I'm, my fingers are still pissed at me because their muscle memory says there's only six strings here. Oh, so that's mine, yeah. right. You're yeah, getting yeah. used to the seventh string. Yeah, so All right. Yeah, it's called this morning. Okay, I'm going to have to not use the pick. And that's it gives a little different sound. That's all right. There's that bass string there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love it. Woke up this morning and my house was gone. Yeah, I woke up this morning and my house is gone. The rain pouring down me and lying on the ground. The rain pouring down me and lying on the ground. And dog and tree cat sitting in the pond. Woke up this morning and my house is gone. Well, I didn't have a stitch, not even my shoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a stitch, not even my shoes. But I found me a guitar and played me some blues. Mm -hmm. and found me a guitar and played me some blues. Mm -hmm. And dog sitting pretty cat fishing in the pond. Well, up this morning and my clothes were gone. You can bring the guitar up. Oh, the volume? Mm hmm. Okay, I like to. There we go. Yeah, Hi, Denise. More. I'm glad you love the jewelry. We do too. Oh, taste more. There we go. The sun went down. I'm gonna do that line over. <laughs> you can well, do whatever you woke want. Woke up this morning, but the sun went down. Yeah, I woke up this morning, but the sun went down. Mm 
Man came to see me was circus clown. Man talking to me was circus clown. Dog and tree cat sitting in a palm. I woke up this morning and my world was gone. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I've done that a few times. Yeah, I woke Perfect. up this morning and my house was gone. Yeah, I woke up this morning and my house was gone. Rain pouring down, me lying on the ground. Rain pouring down, me lying on the ground. Dog sitting, pretty cat fishing in the pond. I woke up this morning and my house was gone. My clothes were gone, my world was gone. Silver Shells with Silver, Silver Shells Bling Party and my uh, partner in crime Cindy and mm -hmm. this is yeah uh -huh. that's you and then we've had Stanley Carlisle as our musical guest and you've come a long way you know, from being homeless and uh, to to now giving back to the community and living at the Palms good job thank you yeah, yeah that's so that's so uh, um, and it's just, it's just funny about, uh, the, you know, uh, there's a life like leading up to that, you know, to the to like sort of not having life, but just or being in like intermission, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's like did a lot of stuff, you know, and then made a lot of mistakes. I have, I have a friend uh, um, who said, you know, said, you know, God, I'm just just grateful that I survived all my mistakes, you know. Well, and, we're and, grateful and, too. So thank you. Do you want to play us on the way out? We're going to wrap oh, our show. We're about up. there. Huh? We're yeah. wrapped. We're wrapped. Oh, we're done. Yeah. We're not wrapped. We're going to wrap. We're going now. to. Okay. All um, right. I have a song by Stanley that uh, we recorded in the living room, Stan. Do oh, you yeah. remember that? Yeah, well, a few I, years ago. There were several of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With my baby. This one is What Do You Do? One of oh, my what favorites. What Do You Do? Yeah, yeah. All cool. right. Yeah. That's Everybody. my Escape from Los Angeles song, Escape from LA song. Oh, this is a great line. Okay, we'll be let's... back Wednesday night from 7 to 8. We've got more jewelry. We're going to talk about jewelry. We're going to have some interesting facts. Tune in. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And until we see you again, be safe. Bye. Peace. Ciao for now. Ciao. Mm. All right.
A right jack gun with the devil one way Got up the nerve, jumped out on a curve Tumbled and swore, took a turn for the worse Well, I can't run from what I know is real